Hello everyone, I'm Nitin Reddy from EC department. My topic is measurement of voltage current and power at distorted waveforms. Abstract. A new wattmeter is presented for the measurement of power when the voltage and current are distorted. It uses non-simultaneous sampling of the voltage on the load and on a capacitor center. As current has usually a higher distortion than voltage, this approach is less demanding for the unlikely to digital converters. Introduction We are facing an increasing interest in the measurement of power under non sinusoidal conditions. The growth in use of non linear electric loads are the demand of a higher accuracy in the measurement of preload losses in the power transformers. Are two examples of this driving forces. The measurement system presented here introduces a novel approach that improves the per performance of a sampling wattmeter by the use of a capacitive shunt that reduces the demands on the analog to distort converters. The energy E delivered to a load between two instants T1 and T2 is energy E equal to integration of T1 and T2 Q into I into TT equal to T into TQ. If U and I are periodic functions with the same frequency F, the energy delivered in particular is E equal to integration of U into TQ and the power is P equal to integration of U into DQ. Figure 1 presents a circuit which can measure power according to equation 3. A similar bridge with methods was already presented in equation 3 for the measurement of energy of partial discharges. In this circuit, it is differentiation of Qc equal to differentiation of Q by C and replacing in equation 3 P equal to C into F into integration of U into DUC. The voltages U and UC are acquired by the ADC and equation 5 is calculated numerically. Here is the circuit diagram. A 600 picofarad shunt as at 50 hertz and impedance of 5 R. This a 0 0.5 ampere current will produce in it a voltage drop of 2.5 volts. Therefore, the use of original current transformer CT is necessary if the basic nominal current shall be of 5 ampere. This additional CT does not deteriorate significantly the performance of the wattmeter. Cities have a good frequency response, especially with a capacitive burden, due to the fact that the burden decreases as the frequency increases. Measurement results An experimental wattmeter was constructed using a low cost 12 bit data fusion card. This card has one ADC with the multiplexer M to acquire both channels QC and U. A sample is sequentially at frequency, sample frequency equal to 41,870 hertz each. To deal with the additional phase error caused by the non simultaneous sampling of both channels, a fitting algorithm was introduced, which calculates the voltage at the instant of the current sample as a function of its previous and subsequent voltage samples. The interpolation algorithm was applied to the voltage because it is typically less distorted than the current. Figure 2 shows. Figure 2 shows the current and the voltage on the capacitor shunt in the sample circuit with a direct and resistive load. A smoother behavior of UC can be observed. Figure 3 depicts the, the choice pattern of U and UC. The area of the loop is proportional to the energy per cycle. Figure 2 shows I and UC are acquired on a circuit with a direct and a resistive load. Figure 3 lays out its pattern for UC and U in a circuit with a trike and resistive load. As a preliminary check, the instrument was compared with a thermal wattmeter of the thruster type, which has an error below 0 to 1% up to 1 kHz at a power factor of 1. At a power factor of 1, the able I shows difference in frequency. Table 1 shows differences in frequency responses between both instruments. Sampling minus thermal wattmeters related to the apparent power. Table 2 presents the same difference 
the forty percent distortion in three D and nine harmonic. Added to the fundamental current, the phase angle between harmonics and fundamental is said that it maximizes the crest crack. Advantages: UC is less distorted than current I. The crest factor of UC is closer to crest factor of sinusoidal wave. UC has two sharp edges. We got two which show good current in a circuit with a drag and a corresponding UC. The phase error due to the loss factor of C is independent of the frequency in the audio frequency range. For polypropylene, capacitors is 200 micro radians. The shunt is not disaffective. Due to 1, 2, and 3, the ADC needs a smaller dynamic range and a lower sampling frequency by comparison with the resistor shunt. The disadvantages are a high temperature coefficient of the capacitance for polypropylene is about 140 to 106. For high accuracy measurements, this temperature coefficient can be corrected in the software measurement. The temperature in the capacitor coefficient can be corrected in the software measuring the temperature in the capacitor. The volume of the capacitor is higher than the Volume of the resistor for the same impedance. Conclusion This new wattmeter presents promising frequency response and linearity in the current circuit against the thermal wattmeter, encouraging new studies in order to establish a new reference for the measurement of power with highly distorted waveforms. A further improvement of this instrument is underway which consists in the use of simultaneous sampling of both channels and improvements in the calculation algorithms. New results and the uncertainty analysis will be presented at the conference. Thank you.